Cartmel is one of the oldest villages in the lakes, with annual festivities which include steeplechasing at the Cartmel Racecourse. Cartmel's village shop is home to the original sticky toffee pudding. Mm. This is no ordinary sticky toffee pudding. Made in Cartmel, it's sold throughout the UK and graces the shelves of Harvey Nichols, Fortnum & Mason and Selfridges. The shop has some wonderful delicacies, not the sort of things you'd find on your average shopping trip. And of course you can meet the locals, Sticky and Toffee. Aww. The village of Cartmel may be the home of Sticky Toffee Pudding, but it's also where you'll find En Clume one of the top five destination restaurants with rooms in Europe. With a Michelin star, four AA rosettes and a Katie, as the food industry's version of an Oscar, the food here is second to none. What's great about Long Clume is you can stay over in one of their beautiful bedrooms. And how about this for an idea? Spend the day with a head chef learning the skills of the trade in one of their cookery schools. Coniston Water is the third largest lake in the Lake District. It was here that Donald Campbell set the water speed record in 1955 and sadly died attempting to break the record again in 1967 in the Bluebird Hydroplane, a replica of which now resides in the Lakeland Motor Museum. The Campbell family are famous for their 21 world land and water speed records and the unforgettable Bluebird. The Lakeland Motor Museum commemorates the achievements of Sir Malcolm Campbell and his son Donald. Maybe some of the other exhibits are not quite so fast, but they are a delightful reminder of the history of motoring. The award-winning gardens at Hooker Hall are a tribute to the work of generations of dedicated gardeners. There's so much to enjoy, including national hunt racing on bank holidays at Cartmel Park. The food hall serves all types of delicacies and produce from the estate. On completing your visit, you'll get a real taste of Cumbria in the Courtyard Cafe. It's a stately home, but don't be deceived. Muncaster Castle is different. This is the headquarters of the World Owl Trust, where you'll find one of the largest breeding collections of owls in the world. Apparently the castle is haunted. If you're brave enough, you can experience the nighttime ghost tour. <laughs> With all kinds of things happening day or night, and throughout the year, this is an attraction you will not want to miss. Until the railways came in the 19th century, Grange over Sands was a small fishing village. Over time, the coastline has changed and the town has become a popular tourist destination. Ideally positioned near the mountains of the Lake District, Grange over Sands is famous for its mild climate, beautiful gardens and local walks. The Knoll Country House near Newby Bridge is an award-winning Victorian country retreat. What you get here is peace, tranquility and a touch of luxury. Using the finest organic local produce, you can expect a healthy and imaginative menu. There's a choice of eight spacious ensuite rooms. And if you fancy a stroll, Lake Windermere is five minutes away. If you want to get even closer to nature, then you have to visit the award-winning Aquarium of the Lakes at Newby Bridge. There are 30 habitats to explore, including rivers, lakes and the seashore. During your visit to the aquarium, you can pause for a coffee at the Café on the Quay. This beautiful valley was carved out by a glacier during the last ice age and is now perfect walking country. 
Down in the valley is the market town of Keswick, where there are plenty of cafes, restaurants and museums to keep you busy. It's fair to say that visitors to the lakes come here for its fantastic walking country and outdoor activities. But if it's your first holiday in the area and you're not fully equipped, never fear, you can always hire a pair of walking boots. So that's me all kitted out. Let's go. After a long day out walking, you can't beat coming home to the multi-award winning Hazelbank Country House at Rothswaite in Burrowdale near Keswick. This beautiful Victorian house is perfect for walkers with famous peaks like Great Gable, Scarfell and Dalehead right on your doorstep. But even if you're more of a stroller than a hiker, there are some wonderful gentle walks along the Derwent River, just minutes away. And with traditional English food to start and end the day, like most of the guests here, you'll return year after year. There can't be a more beautiful setting for a theatre than this. Keswick's Theatre by the Lake. The theatre stages many original works and offers a varied and entertaining programme throughout the season. The building usually opens to the public from 9.30 and stays open until after the evening performance. Admission to the exhibition and Friends Gallery is free. The family-run Hundith Hill Hotel is beautifully situated near Cockermouth in the heart of the Lake District. This is a popular place to enjoy home-cooked food. Whether you eat in the bar or the restaurant, the menus are updated daily. The comfortable ensuite rooms, including family rooms, have all the facilities you'd expect in a leading country house hotel. And with views like this, the Hundith Hill Hotel is ideal for any occasion. Overlooking the beautiful Borrowdale Valley and Derwent Water, just a few minutes walk from the theatre, lies the award-winning Highfield Hotel and Restaurant. Let's go take a look. Keswick offers a true taste of the Lake District with plenty of walks and outdoor activities to keep you busy. So when you're exploring this area, the Highfield Hotel is a perfect place to stay. With immaculately decorated bedrooms and stunning views of the lake, this gorgeous family-owned hotel incorporates many beautiful Victorian features. And with a team of international chefs, the award-winning restaurant speaks for itself. Keswick lies on the shores of Derwent Water, a three-mile long lake owned predominantly by the National Trust. Whether you explore the lake by foot or boat, you'll have fantastic views of Skiddaw and Cat Bells. And at the foot of Cat Bells, just minutes away from Derwent Water, known as the Queen of the Lakes, stands the Swinside Lodge Country House Hotel and Restaurant. Surrounded by open countryside, hills, valleys and woodlands, this beautiful country house hotel provides fantastic accommodation and a great location for walking, climbing, sailing and bird watching. What I really like about this hotel is they get all the small things right which make your stay more enjoyable and they've got a string of awards to prove it. With two AA rosettes for their restaurant means their food is fantastic. With a total of 11 lakes you can see why this region is called the Lake District. And this beautiful stretch of water is Lake Thilmere just south of the town of Keswick. This peaceful lake was once one of the main suppliers of water to the expanding city of Manchester back in the 1880s. And this is Dalehead Hall, a beautiful country house hotel and the only building that sits on the tranquil Lake Thilmere. So come on, let's go inside and have a look. This is a great base for climbers, and you're also within driving distance of Keswick and Grasmere, so exploring the area is easy. 
The oldest part of the house dates back to 1577 and the whole place has a real home from home feel. In the restaurant, like the rest of the hotel, the emphasis is on attention to detail. And the food, well, what can I say that two AA red rosettes can't? We've been climbing, water skiing, canoeing and hiking. Explored the many beautiful towns. Sampled some of the area's most famous products. And as ever, shown you some of the best places to visit, eat and stay in the Lake District. Fran and I have had a great time exploring the lakes and we hope you have too. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today. So join us again on another edition of Britain's Best Breaks, the show where the choice is yours. And remember, all the places we've visited can be found on our website. And if you'd like to see our shows again, they're all available on DVD. So it's goodbye from Graham and I, and goodbye from the Lake District.